What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Celtic Kaizel Show. I'm Jim, and I am the Celtic Kaizel. In this episode, we're going to be talking about a piece of safety equipment, specifically some LED sneaker lights. Disclaimer, I paid for these and a previous set out of my own pocket. Uh, no particular company that might manufacture these or similar devices has any influence over the opinions that I'm about to share about these lights. And they're not influencing any of the facts that I'm going to share about these either. Uh, that being said, let's talk about where you can get these. Where to get them? So I did some research and you can find a whole bunch of different brands over on amazon.com. Um, they'll typically, the prices I was seeing for these was anywhere from $7 up to $15. Uh, you had a bunch of different choices to choose from. You had some that are powered by a 2032 button cell battery. Uh, you quite a few that were USB rechargeable. Um, but you can get them on Amazon. I know uh, the very first pair that I had came from a store called Five Below. They cost $5. And I got this particular set from Walmart for $9, all right? So that's where you can get them. Um, let's go ahead and get these unboxed and talk about them. All right, let's go ahead and get these things unboxed. All right, now that that unboxing is over with, let's discuss these, all right? So each one is pretty much identical, so I'm only be showing you one at the moment, uh, but they're made with black plastic. Uh, each unit has an LED in each side that goes out into this clear plastic piece. Uh, the power button for both of them is on the right side of the device uh, as you're looking at the little light strip. All right, so if you push the button one time, as you can see somewhat, uh, it turns on and goes solid. Push the button a second time, it flashes. You can't change the frequency of the flash. It's same rate all the time. And of course, third time turns the light off. All right. Uh, so these are, like I said, they're made of black plastic. Um, I saw some of them on Amazon listings showing that you could get the plastic in different colors. All right. This particular set and the set that I bought at five below have green uh, lighting. The listings on Amazon were showing that you could get some of them in various colors. Uh, some of the pictures led me to believe that they'll even cycle through colors. I really can't attest to that, but you know, they may be worth a, worth a shot uh, if they're similar to this form factor. By the end of the video, I'll let you make up your mind and see what you'd like to buy. All right. So now, these clip onto the back of your shoe. Uh, according to one of the listings on Amazon that showed some, you know, sort of technical specs, particularly how wide your shoe can be, says that these will work best on a shoe that's two and a half to three and a half inches wide, all right? Those are the tech specs. Uh, this is what it looks like on your shoe. And like I said, uh, the power button is on the right side of both of the units, all right? So once you put one on your left shoe, power button is gonna be on the inside. Put on the right shoe, obviously, power button is gonna be on the outside of the shoe. Let's go ahead and talk about the upsides to these. First and foremost, safety. I'm a firm believer that anything that can get, you know, motorists or, you know, whoever to see you is worthwhile. In this particular case, it's lighting that even if you have it on solid all the time, uh, it's on your feet. So it's always in motion. 
um, light that moves draws attention. So yeah, with these, you're definitely going to get the intention, attention of anybody that sees you while you're running. Uh, and you could even use these while you're cycling, I'm sure. But the, the lighting is going to move and that's going to draw someone's eye. And they're going to see that you're there and hopefully prevent any incidents from occurring. All right. So other upside to this is you have, you know, two options. You can have them, like I said earlier, you can have them solid or you can have them blinking. All right. So, um, yeah, if they're blinking, it's just that much more attention you're going to draw to yourself. If they're solid, it's still moving light and it's worth it. Those are the upsides to these. Let's go ahead and discuss the downsides. All right, downsides. Now, in this particular instance, the downside is going to be discussing this set that I bought at Walmart and the pretty much identical set that I had purchased at Five Below. First problem. These are not rechargeable, all right? As I said before, they use a 2032 button cell that you basically have to take the device apart to replace the button cell. Not a big deal. 2032s tend to last quite a while. Uh, they get used in things such as, like if you've got a heart rate monitor, uh, chest strap type thing, it's probably got a 2032 button cell in there. Um, some watches use them. Even computers use them to keep the clock going when you got the computer shut off. It's a downside in this instance because you got to find a screwdriver small enough to take this thing apart to change the battery. And, you know, it's kind of a hassle. You do get a, quite a bit of runtime out of it. I'm not exactly sure how much because I haven't had the chance to test them quite that long. But the 2032s do last. I mean, you'll get you know, probably a month or two out of them before you'll have to replace a battery at least. All right. That said, because they're not rechargeable, you will have to take them apart, replace the battery. I'm lazy sometimes, and that's just kind of a pain. Plus you may not have a screwdriver small enough to get those screws out. So yeah, downside. The other downside for me. Now, I don't know if it's, um, an effect of the shoes I was wearing, but the first set of these that I bought from Five Below were that well, I took them, went off on a run, and the very first run I wore them on was I don't know, an eight mile run. And I found out when I got home, one of them fell off my shoe, no idea where found out a couple of weeks later because I found the device out on the ground that I was probably about five and a half, six miles into my run when it fell off. And unfortunately, it had gotten run over by a lawnmower, so it was done for. It seems to be a problem. Uh, I kept the other one, went out and did another run with it, uh, early morning run. Luckily for me that there during that run I experienced we experienced sunrise and I had daylight on my side but at one point in the run I think I was probably again you know over at a halfway point almost three quarters into the run and looked down no light in my shoe fell off to be honest with you never found it after that I don't know Pretty sure it fell off at the school that I was running behind uh, as I ran past the school to get to the track area behind it. And, you know, no, my luck, I don't know, some of the little elementary kids probably thought it was cool, picked it up, took it home with them. But big downside, they didn't stay put on my shoes. I wear a size 13. Uh, they may be better suited for smaller shoes. I definitely wouldn't recommend them for shoes that are smooth, you know, really smooth on the sides or in the case of like this pair of on strata, cloud stratus shoes. They got this piece of plastic on the hill for this to grip to. I probably wouldn't suggest running with these on, on a shoe like that. All right. So let's go ahead and discuss my final thoughts.
All right, final thoughts about these LED sneaker clips. Um, I think they're a great idea. If uh, you can find something that's a little bit, I don't know, grippier, I, I could say, it would say. Uh, my number one downside for these is they, they fell off, all right? That's, you know, the, the, the non-rechargeable battery thing, I can get past that. It's personally, I have uh, the right size screwdriver to do these. Uh, I have 2032s lying around. Um, not a problem, really. It's just kind of a hassle. No big deal. Now, as for them falling off, um, I know they're cheap, but even at, you know, $5 a pop, I'd rather them not be falling off because, I mean, the whole idea of having them is to be safe. And if they just keep falling off, I mean, eventually I'm going to be out on a run and they're going to go away and, you know, I'm that much less safe. Overall, I know that my review is from the viewpoint of a larger, heavier athlete, but I don't want to say these are no good. If you've got smaller shoes, these will probably grab onto your shoe fairly well and, you know, they'll stay put. My shoes, not so much. Again, a couple of times I tested that, uh, I could have been just my shoes. I mean, maybe the sides of the shoes were too smooth. I don't know. Um, but they fell off. I didn't like that fact. And I think that hinders these. But I wouldn't say, hey, don't go get a set, especially if you're a smaller runner with smaller shoes, then absolutely. These are a great device to have because quite frankly, anything that draws attention to you while you're out running is going to let you be noticed so that you're running more safely uh, with less chance of ending up in some sort of horrific incident. All right. And that's the important part. So if your shoes are on the smaller side, um, meaning, you know, I don't know how far less, but definitely smaller than a size 13, get a set of these. Uh, if you wear 13s, maybe still get a set and I don't know, try them around your ankles and see if they bother you clamping on your ankles. I haven't done that yet. Maybe I'll do it later. Um, but I would definitely recommend a set because quite frankly, like I said, anything that improves safety is a good thing. All right. So let's go ahead and close this thing out. All right, that was my review of LED sneaker clips. Uh, definitely worth having if you want to be uh, have attention drawn to you so you can run more safely or bike, sure. Uh, not so good on the bigger shoes, but if you've got smaller shoes, at least less than a 13, um, probably smaller than 11s or 12s also, but they'll definitely stay in place on your shoes, I do believe. Um, Maybe I should have tested it before making this video. Perhaps you can clamp them to your ankles and they wouldn't, I don't know if that'd hurt or not, but I mean, it may be worthwhile, all right? Anything that improves safety is a good thing, all right? So yeah, if you've liked anything I said in today's video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Um, if you have to, I guess you can give me the thumbs down. I'll take the bad with the good. Uh, if you're new to the channel or you just haven't gotten around to it yet, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you subscribe already or you subscribe now go ahead and ring the bell because the bell will let you know when i post some videos try to get them up on wednesdays and yeah get down in the comments interact with me give me some ideas let me know what you think of the video discuss these things whatever i love interacting with the uh my viewers down in the comments, I like taking, you know, suggestions from the viewers. I'm actually sitting on some suggestions right now for a future video. I did a video, you know, a couple weeks back that, you know, I use the suggestions of a viewer. So please, please, please get out in the comments, interact with me. Let me know what you think. Give me suggestions and make this more fun for me. All right. I'd appreciate it. So until next time, keep on keeping on.